I'm going to start off with this question by giving you a formula that you should really memorize. It's not given to you on the test. Technically, we can kind of figure it out in the moment based on the units for a question like this, but it's better to just know it. The, the formula is density is equal to mass over volume. Okay, so clearly we're going to use that here. Density is, is given to us. We are kind of uh, being asked for the mass, so the volume is going to be a mystery, but, but it's all going to fit into this formula. And you can get this because of the way the units work, right? They tell us the density is given in kilograms, which is a unit of mass, per cubic meter, which is a unit of volume. So it, it's actually derivable from the story. But, you know, just make your life easier. Just memorize it so it's ready to go. Um, and now we can start filling things in. So we know the density is 807. We know the mass is what we're going to look for. So I'm going to put that as a variable. Now the volume is not given to us directly, but we can find it because they do give us the length of this cube. So the length of a cube, right? Remember, a cube just looks like a die. And so that means that each side is 0.9. So they give you the formula for just volume of a box on the reference chart, but you might also want to remember that the volume of a cube is equal to the side cube because length times width times height are all the same for a cube because that's just the definition of a cube is they're all the same. So 0 0.9, right, is the height, it's the width, it's the depth. So we're going to get this volume is 0 0.9 cubed. And notice that I'm doing this separately, right? I'm, I'm not putting this into the formula. Why complicate a formula? Let's just turn this into a number and then see where it goes from there. So 0 0.9 uh, to the third regular calculator, I get 0 0.729. So it's my volume, 0 0.729. And now it's just a matter of solving by multiplying both sides oops, by 0 0.729, 0 0.729. And we get the mass is equal to times 807, 588.303, which is choice A, which is the answer. Um, don't get intimidated by this. This is a, a very easy geometry question. They give us everything we need. The only thing I would say to memorize is yes, add this formula to your list of things to kind of um, have ready on test day. I'll give you one more that's similar to that, that they don't, that we don't need at all here but might be worth memorizing, uh, it's that speed is equal to distance divided by time. Notice the symmetry between them, right? Notice that symmetry. And it's because in both cases, we have kind of like a rate. Density is a combination of two units. It's the mass per unit volume. Speed is, you know, something like miles per hour, right? Distance per unit time. So it comes with the unit, right? Like the units tell us what to do, but in the moment you're just getting so many uh, pieces of information and the, the question is confusing, the timer is ticking, so you might not realize that it's just as obvious as it sounds, but if you memorize these formulas, then anytime they talk about speed, anytime they talk about density, you just have that ready to go, write that on your page, start plugging things in, and at the end of the day, yes, this is a plug points into equations question. You need to provide the equations but they provide the points and it's just a matter of plugging it in and letting the calculator do the work.